Secret Santa gifts. Those are always fun. As much as I enjoy doing Secret Santa for people that I know, uh, trying to come up with the perfect thing can be a little troubling for me at times. So I drew Secret Santa name for a local group that I'm in. And it's a different type of Secret Santa that involves a maximum of $5. And it has to be an upcycled gift or something handmade. Now the $5 max is materials cost. So you can do quite a bit with $5 if you buy things in bulk and have them on hand from other projects that you do, that type of thing. So one of the items that I did for this person I came up with pretty easy. So I did this. It's a nice 3D printed wand. I'm not going to name it. I don't want any copyright issues. So it was 3D printed in a wood filament which is about 60% wood, 40% plastic. And the way it was printed was on its side so that it maintains the wood grain. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video. Hope so. The problem with that when it's printed flat is that you have supports on the bottom for all of this. That can be difficult to clean up. So I actually carved a fair amount of one of the sides for this wand. Then I needed something to put the wand in because I just don't want to put it into a bag to give as a gift. So I came up with this. It's another 3D printed design. It's a little case to fit the wand into. Make sure the wand doesn't break. And my printer isn't big enough so it's actually a couple of pieces that are bound in the center. But anyway, printed this, painted this with acrylic paint, oh, about 75% black, 25% silver. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can pick it up. And what I really like is it creates this pattern when it's turned. It really works well with the type of wand it is. All right, so to go along with the wand, I decided to do a couple of t-shirts. One that's in reference to her favorite author and another that's just something that she really enjoys. Her favorite color is purple, and I've been working on shirts for about a week, trying to come up with the right design for these two shirts. Those designs will be cut out of vinyl and pressed onto the tie-dyed shirts. But I still had to come up with the design. I think this is one of the designs I'm going with. It's like the water drop I did, except it's in circle instead of the oblong shape. I think I'm going with this for one of the designs. Then I did this, which is symmetrical across the midline. And I think it's okay, I'm just not sure it's purple enough. So this is in the undecided pile. So I decided I'll go with more of an organic look. So I did this. This side is great. This side, I have no idea. It happened. Odd things happen at times. I mean, I like the red that's flowing through. We'll call that red. It's not really red. I think it's amethyst running through. But this, this to me just totally ruins the rest of the design. So I don't think I'm going to be able to go with the shirt. So what is this video about, you ask? This video is the shirt that I've decided to go with, I think, for one of the two designs. So let's get started on that. If you've watched any of my videos, you know what I'm about to say. This is a 100% cotton t-shirt and it's been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and then spun in the washing machine until it's in a barely damp state. Since this is going to be ice dyed, I'm going to flip this inside out. And flatten this. I don't need to find the center line since it's not a symmetrical design. I've actually done this pattern before. I believe it was called Autumn Rays. So it's a very, uh, it's basically the same design. It'll just start in a different location on the shirt and have a very different set of colors since I'm going with purples, 
eh, basically purples. Maybe a little green as well. I need something to offset the purple. So let's flatten this out. All right, so I'm going to start. See, this is reversed, so we'll start over here on this side, probably about halfway, and I'll just eyeball that. Grab a string, basically tie around the marker, and that allows you to create the arc. Do another one through the collar of the shirt. Toss that over here. And then we can start tying this. And this is just a standard accordion fold. So here's the final tie, and we'll go off to dye it. It took a bit of time to do this cardboard. Anyway, so I've decided on the colors. There'll be a different set of colors for the front and back, like always. So the first will be amethyst and grape, deep purple and power berry, lilac and cobalt blue, Bright Green and Emerald Green, Orange Crush and Deep Orange, and Maroon and Burgundy. I know that's more than purple, but I think this will actually work out pretty good. I'm also going to most likely go with either Deep Purple or Power Berry um, just across the lines themselves in a thickened liquid state. But for the top, I am going with 
Obviously, ice dyeing since I have the form set up. So I think the amethyst set, the set that I showed on the left side, is going to be the top and the right side will be the bottom or back. So let's get started. So we have the ice in, and I'm not sure I have enough ice left in the house to do the next side. We'll see what happens. But anyway, so it's a little cooler than normal around here. So I'm going to run a heater, try to get this done, because I'm running out of time. Got like three days to get this whole thing finished um, for the party, and I'd like to have it done. Alright, so I'm going to let this sit until the ice melts, and then we'll flip it over and do the dyes on the next side. The first side is melted, so let's go ahead and flip it. That'll sit until the ice melts, and then I'm still not sure if I'm going to do the thickened liquid dye on the lines or not. Uh, I'll decide that after the ice melts. So we'll see how it goes. If not, I'll let this sit for a total of probably 12, 12 to 18 hours. I'm running it with heat, so I can go shorter if I need to. Alright, it's been about 12 hours since it was last dyed and it was heated to uh, well over 100 degrees for at least six hours so should be ready let's go ahead and do the washout
let's take a look. So I'll wash this out in the washing machine and then we'll look at the final pictures.